drop a like on this video in the next five seconds if you guys want to become the richest Fortnite player ever. What's going on friends and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video here onto the channel. In today's video we are going to be looking at a brand new opportunity that's coming into Fortnite Season 7 that's going to allow a lot of you guys out there to get 1000 V-Bucks for free in Chapter 2 Season 7. We're also going to be looking at a new starter pack that's also leaked as well that's also going to be giving you guys a 600 V-Buck bonus. We're going to be covering all the information you guys need to know on how to get these challenges, do the V-Buck challenges and much more. So make sure to watch until the very end of the video. Now of course before we dive into that we got to go ahead and send our daily gift to a lucky subscriber and I want to send you guys the season 7 battle pass but the last few days every single time I record a video there is new skins in the shop and as you guys can see we finally have the brand new football icon skins with Harry Kane and Marco Royce which look amazing and then there's also a bundle as well but I think I'm gonna go ahead and send the Harry Kane skin as today's gift just because his back bling looks really really awesome all right and I also just realized that I don't even have enough V-Bucks to do that so we're gonna have to go ahead and buy some more V-Bucks so we can send some gifts. There we go. The V-Bucks have gone through and now we should see that V-Buck counter fly up in the top right. We have 14,000 V-Bucks, which is plenty to send it today's gift, which is the brand new icon skin in the shop. No, I misclicked and I accidentally bought this skin for myself. I mean, it's a cool skin. I really like the back bling, but I wasn't really planning on buying it. Dude, I hate when I do that. And I also don't want to waste a refund ticket refunding it. So I guess we're just going to have to use it and, and keep it on our accounts. Today's gift is going to I Say Truth, so shout out to you for supporting the channel, I greatly appreciate it. And if you guys want to be like him and receive a gift in a future video, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and also leave your epic usernames down below so I can add you and send you the gift. And if you guys are going to be buying the brand new icon skins in the shop or anything else that's available, including the Season 7 Battle Pass, then make sure to use supporter creator code NERP, N-E-R-P, I really appreciate all the support on this code. If you are using it, make sure to let me know down in the comments, I'll give your comment a heart, and I'm also also going to be adding some of you guys back on Fortnite, so thank you so much for the support. All right, so with all that being said, let's dive right into the video. So first things first, the first pack and V-Buck challenges that we are going to be taking a look at here was something that was found in the Fortnite Battle Royale files once the Season 7 update did come out. Data miners were able to go in the files and find all of this information for us, and it's very exciting because this is our first V-Buck challenge set of Season 7, which is a very good time because for those of you guys that still need to buy the Battle Pass, or maybe you just want to buy some of the brand new skins in the shop, doing V-Buck challenges and getting a thousand and V-Bucks on your account is going to be very helpful for you. Now, unlike a lot of the other V-Buck challenge packs that we've seen in the past, this one is not going to be coming out over on the Battle Royale side of things, and it's not going to be located over in the Battle Royale item shop, but instead, it's actually going to be located over in the Save the World store, because this is going to be classified as a brand new Save the World starter pack since it's been a few seasons since we've last had one introduced and released into the game for Save the World. So that being said, we're actually going to hop over to Save the World real quick. I'm going to show you guys exactly where this pack is going to be located just in case you are someone that is going to want to buy this once it's released into the game. And for those of you guys that are worried, no, you do not have to own Save the World in order to buy the starter pack. Even if you don't own it, you'll still be able to get the pack. You'll still be able to do the V-Buck challenges. And one of the cool things about the starter packs on Save the World is if you do end up buying them, they give you Save the World included in the pack. So if you don't have it, you go ahead and buy the pack. You get the V-Buck challenges, all the cosmetics, and then as a bonus, you get access to Save the World, which is why these are such a good deal in the first place. So for those of you guys that are curious, the pack will be located over here in the store. It's a little bit different than the Battle Royale side of things because the shop only includes llamas. And if you want anything starter pack related, you have to come over here to the store where the V-Bucks are. So once this brand new starter pack is released into the game, it will be located over on the right hand side and that's where you'll find it. Now, of course, with that being said, I'll throw the images up on the screen so you guys can see exactly what this starter pack looks like. And as you guys can see, it is known as the Lockbot starter pack. And just a typical theme here for Save the World, if you guys haven't realized yet, a lot of the starter packs and cosmetics that are released seem to be robot themed or a little bit differently themed than a lot of the starter packs we get over in Battle Royale, just because Save the World is a lot different than Battle Royale, and a lot of the skins and cosmetics end up not being actual human beings, which I think is pretty interesting. So as you guys can see, what's included in this pack is the Lockbot skin itself, which is a robot. We have a back bling that comes with it, of course, a harvesting tool, and then on top of that, like I mentioned earlier, you get access to Save the World, which is a really, really great deal. You 
You have V-Buck challenges that allow you to earn up to 1,000 V-Bucks for free. And then you also get X-Ray Llama tickets, which is only stuff that you can use in Save the World. I know a lot of you guys probably don't really care about that, but it is included in the pack as well for all you guys that do play and grind Save the World. Those can maybe be useful for you. And like you guys saw in the beginning of the video, this pack is not yet released yet, but considering it was found on the Fortnite files right when Season 7's update released, there is a good chance that this is going to be rolling out within the next week or two before we get the first big downtime update of Season 7, which means it's going to be coming in the next week, week and a half at most, and that's when it's going to be released into the Save the World store for you guys to purchase, get the V-Bucks, do the challenges, and get all the cosmetics and access to Save the World. And just in case you guys are on the fence about getting this pack, maybe you don't know if you like the skin or cosmetics included, I'm going to toss up some gameplay for a little bit so you guys can see. We have early gameplay thanks to data miners of what this skin looks like in game. So if you were on the fence, watch the gameplay and then maybe that'll help you decide if you want to drop the money to get this and get the V-Buck challenges as well. On top of that, we have a Save the World starter pack coming out, which is awesome. A thousand V-Buck challenges and some cool skins. And then we also have a new starter pack coming to Battle Royale at the exact same time, which is pretty rare to happen in Fortnite. Usually they space out the starter packs where they never really overlap each other, but these are going to be releasing around the same time since they were found and added to the files the same day. Now the starter pack coming to the Battle Royale side of things is going to be known as the Dizzy starter pack. And of course, I'll throw the images up on the screen so you guys can see pictures of the skin and what is going to be included in the pack. Similar to the rest of the starter packs we've seen in Battle Royale, we have the Dizzy skin, and then we also have a back bling that comes with the skin and a brand new harvesting tool. And then on top of that, just like all the other starter packs we've seen in the past, there is a 600 V-Buck bonus that you get right upon purchasing this. So there is no challenges. You don't have to do the challenges to get the V-Bucks. You literally just get them as a bonus for buying the pack, which is why I always say that starter packs in Battle Royale are a very great deal because you're going to be paying $5 for this to get a skin, back bling, and harvesting tool. And then you literally get 600 V-Bucks back, which is already worth more than the initial money you spend. So depending on the way you look at it, you're basically getting the skins and cosmetics for free and just paying for the V-Bucks. Or you could say vice versa, you're paying to get the skin, back bling, and harvesting tool. And the 600 V-Bucks is basically a reward or bonus that you get for free since the pack is so cheap. So like I said, I just wanted to mention that because both starter packs are going to be dropping around the same time. We don't have an exact date, but since it was found in the files after the season seven update did roll out, there's a good chance it's going to be coming within the next week, week or half before the next downtime update does roll out. But with all that being said, that is all I got for you guys. In today's video. Before we end it off, let me know down in the comment section below between the two starter packs coming to Fortnite, the Save the World one and the Battle Royale one. Let me know down in the comment section which starter pack you prefer and like better. I'm curious if you guys like the more human and simple look that Battle Royale includes or if you guys like the more robotic style and kind of weird looking sins that come out on the Save the World starter packs. I know it's personal preference, but I'd love to know your feedback. That's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.